Okay. All right. So what happens now? So at this point, um, everyone's probably pretty wiped out. We say, hey, thanks for coming. We're going to take it from here. And we'll call you in two weeks. So, you know, they, thanks. Great, great effort. So what we do is we take all of these notes and we start compiling them into documents. We take the user stories. Um, and we'll, we're going to actually do this for you guys, too. We're, we're going to post the results. So we're going to take the user stories up here, put them into spreadsheets, even take the ones that didn't make it up here today, um, get it all into one big project plan kind of. So we start looking at these, start doing some preliminary designs, thinking about what holes are in here. Like, you know, there's nothing in here for um, picking out a look and feel for the site. So we might, we might insert a couple of stories above this feature set line that we just have to do. We just know, you know, you have to pick out a, you know, we'll give you three options for a look and feel for this website. And so we'll insert a couple of stories. And then we'll get together and we'll estimate <clears throat> the size of each of these, at least down to this core feature set line, using a comparison routine we use that says, you know, I've done something like set up a website environment before. I know how big that is compared to other things. And so we'll go and, and we'll call point each of these stories. And then based on those points, we know how many points we can do in two or three weeks' time. And we know how much two or three weeks' time worth of our effort costs. So right there, we can figure out, we add up the points. Let's just say this added up to 120 points. It's way under that. But, so we know we can do you know, 40 points in three weeks. It's going to be uh, three times um, three. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so three iterations, an iteration, I don't know, I'll just throw a number out there, there's 20,000, okay, there's a $60,000 project, bam, your estimate's done. So then we create a, you know, a project agreement, we set up a meeting with a customer, we hand deliver all this stuff, we have printouts and USB, and we say, all right, let's walk you through what we found. Um, this is what we saw during the meeting, here's your objective, here's your stories, and here's how long we think it'll take. Um, you guys want to go forward with this? And they'll say, Sure, when can you start? And we'll say, you know, give us three weeks, we can get started on it. Or they'll say, wow, you know, that's a bit more than I wanted to pay, um, but, you know, next quarter I should be able to afford it. So fine, you know, we'll just shelve it. They own all of this documentation. It's not proprietary, it's theirs. Um, they can come back to us later and have us do the project. Or they can say, you know what? My brother in law has a development firm and they are so much cheaper than you guys. And they're fine. They can take all these notes, take it to their brother-in-law's development firm, and they'll give them another quote. And they, they can basically look at these notes and give them a pretty good quote, just like we did, and have them do it. That's fine. I mean, they paid us a little bit of money up front. We didn't lose much money, so it's really no loss for us if they want to take it somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something like that. We're going to put all these notes together, and um, you can find, this is my website. So you can find this website either on the speaker page for this event or just you know, make a note of it. And in a couple of weeks, we'll be able to put these up there. We didn't get a hold of um, Adam, the event coordinator, in time to know if we can actually send you guys an email. If I we did. Can, did you? Yeah. He, in, he told me to ask him. Oh. So we, we just asked him. previous session, I like, just collected the email addresses from people. Oh, did that? Mm -hmm. We asked Adam if it was all right if we used your, you know, if we got your email addresses from him. Are you guys, does anybody have any concerns about us? We promise not to advertise. We just sent one email and it would just be, hey, the results are ready yeah. if you want them. That's yeah, all. that way we don't, you know, we don't have to do the right over days email address now and all that. We'll just get the list from them. And those people who signed up and didn't show up, they'll get an email too. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's what we'll do. Uh, as long as, if you do have a problem, just let us know afterwards. Um, so yeah, we'll send you an email. It'll be up there. You can come check it out. And we'll also put up there, actually we already have up there, a link to template documents um, for all of this stuff. So templates for these cards, templates for all the deliverables we'll send out. And you can already go out and find that link and download this stuff yourself. You're welcome to <laughs> take this process, adapt it to your own needs, use it for you know what you can. GitHub, fork it. Yeah, fork it's on <laughs> GitHub, so you can fork it, send pull requests, all that fun stuff. I have a quick question. You were talking about points. How do you determine the basis for how many points your team can do? Yeah, I was going to talk about that a little bit. You sure. want to talk yeah, about how we do, um, and correct me if I'm wrong about this, 
because he, he blew through that. Here, we give you an estimate because we know how many, how many points it takes to do an iteration, and we know how, many, how much an iteration costs. And that's really easy to say, right? But back when I was, you know, before I joined these guys, um, when we were doing this at five nines, that was a really difficult thing to do. And to, to what I would say is it takes meticulous, meticulous tracking of effort uh, during a project in order to find out what your velocity is, right? So, um, and we use story points as our estimating tool. And story points, uh, for those of you unfamiliar, have, we did this earlier, how many have used story points before? So a few of you. Um, tell me if your understanding is different than mine. Uh, story points are a, uh, a method of, re of estimating something relative to something that you understand. Something you don't understand, estimating something you don't understand, or don't know, relative to something that you understand. And the concept here is that uh, you know, we're pretty good at knowing, for instance, um, well, let me tell you, is, who's from Lincoln? Anybody from Lincoln? Okay, so tell me, um, how many miles is it from here to South Point? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so let me ask you, um, is it farther uh, or nearer to get to South Point than it is to get to the state capitol? It's further. Okay, so we know it's how much further? Uh, two to three times as much. Okay. So if we know it's um, a five mile trip to the state capitol, which I think that's probably a little bit long, but if it's a five mile trip to the state capitol, then we can kind of estimate that to get to South Point, it's gonna, it's gonna it's take us- at least 10. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take us 10 to 15 miles. So that's, that's, what, that's what relative estimating is all about, and that's how we use story points. So what we did when we started this process at Five Nines is uh, I got these guys together and we um, worked on an iteration of stories and we guessed at what point values would be. And then we said, all right, so look, let's pick two stories that are our baseline. One that's two points and one that's five points. The story points use the Fibonacci sequence. Is everybody familiar with that deal? Okay, so I don't, I don't need to go over it. The one, two, one, three, two, five, eight, three, five, eight, 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 thirteen. The whole point is that, you know, there, as you count up, the distance between the point values gets larger. And it's really to, to make you decide whether it's this or this. Because again, the difference between one and two, the difference between five and seven, I mean, one and two maybe, the difference between five, five and six, the difference between 20 and 21, there's, you know, it wants, you want these dramatic differences. So what we do then is we say, we know that this story it is, is our, we're gonna say that's our two point story. And that this story, it's a little bit bigger, that's our five point story. And then when our next project comes along and we say, all right, we've got this feature that they wanna build, what is it going to take to build it? We talk a little bit about what it's going to take to build it. All right, is that harder than our five-point story or easier than our five-point story? Okay, is that harder than our two-point story or easier than our two-point story? It's the same exercise I just went through with the South Point and the State Capitol. Makes sense? But until you start tracking, who asked the question about the, you? okay. Until you start tracking that, you won't know. You've got to just leap and do it. And then as far as how much it costs us for each iteration, what we do then is the same kind of deal. We start tracking, points are separate, they're estimated values, hours are actuals. So what we do in addition to doing the estimating on points, we actually take and we track the number of hours it takes us to get done with something. So we're tracking those two things and they're separate. And so then when we track the number of hours it actually took us to do a story, as we, as we look at stories that we're gonna do in the future, we can kind of make a comparison. Well, you know, we, we thought that story was a six, uh, six point, this was six point, it was a five point story last time. Um, you know, so if this story is five points, it took us X number of hours, that cost $20,000, and that's how we know how much that feature will cost. We're gonna be wrong sometimes. Sometimes we're gonna estimate low, and sometimes we're gonna estimate high, but we hope in the end, our relative estimating balances us out. Make sense? Too long-winded? Well, I like okay. um, is that why you guys use points over like estimating hours? Is because it keeps it relative? Yeah, the, the hours, it, it, it really is. And I used to try and do this. I, who's, who's estimated a project using hours before? Okay. It, I mean, how accurate were you? Do you know? I mean, did, did you get to a point where you were really accurate estimating hours? They're always wrong. They're always wrong. I mean, you're and so. You're yeah. not close at all. Yeah. It, Typically, like the miles, like the miles estimate, we're really bad at estimating time. You know, we're just we just have 
I always, developers especially. Who's a developer here? Okay, developers, you're all really terrible at estimating time. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> we always just have an overly optimistic you know, viewpoint of what we're trying to accomplish. So, um, so that's one of the reasons we just broke away from using time. The story points, it's, it's more. And then, of course, what happens in our meetings when we go to point things, they go, well, how many hours is that? And you're like, oh, no, don't do that, you know? When we do story points, I always say it's really a couple of things. It's the amount of effort involved and the amount of risk involved. And that's how you decide how many story points you're going to give something. If you have a meeting that's going to take you know, an hour to do, you've got four mm -hmm. people in that meeting, you know there's pretty low risk of that meeting going longer than four hours. Now, it depends on the organization, I suppose, but pretty low risk. So now you're going to say, well, you know, if our two-point story took us about two hours to do, then maybe it's a five-point story. But it's really dangerous to get start making those connections. You've got to resist the you know mm -hmm. the temptation to say, well, how many hours is that? Because you know two points is uh, four hours, and so this is going to take us eight hours to do. So it's you know eight minutes. So in your experience, points are way more accurate than hours. Is there a drastic difference? Um, in, in my experience, our estimating using points has been much more accurate than our estimated using hours. Now, having said that, we never, when we estimated using hours, we didn't typically track how many hours we actually spent on something. We would add, give an hour estimate and we'd say, well, we think it's gonna take four hours, and then when we passed four hours and went to eight hours and that became a week, you know, it, we just got yelled at for going long. You know? <laughs> it, wasn't a, it wasn't like we went back and said, well, how many hours did we actually spend on that? So that, that's, that's the difference. I hate to say you know, that you couldn't add, you know. The, the key thing here, guys, is that use what works for you. you know? Listen to what we do. If we give you a good idea and you want to try it, try it. Fake your way through it for a little while. See if it works. If it doesn't, then have a retro and adapt and move on. If you guys can't get past it, story points, then don't use them. If you like to use t-shirt sizes, maybe that's better for you. Uh, if hours is the way your organization just has to work, then that's the way it works. So, what else are we missing out on here? That's it. We just we're gonna do a, a little Q and A now. So, you know, any other it's questions? Kind of are yeah. we done? I think it's four thirty. Are done fit or done time? Five things. Okay. Yeah. So, are there any other questions? Who found this uh, process useful today? Right. I was, I was really surprised at like how complicated it ended up being versus how simple you thought it might have been when you first heard about it. Like a lot of times we find that a uh, product will come to us and say, it's simple. Why do I have to do this meeting? It's so simple. It's a website. Uh, you know, it tracks user groups. What do you want me to come in four hours? You know, it's like, well actually, have you ever thought about what you need to do for sponsors? And what you, you know, so a lot of times I feel like it's surprising you take a simple idea it actually turns out to be pretty complicated. Mm -hmm. I was going to um, invite you guys. If we're, are you guys done? Yeah. I was going to invite you guys to stay um, if you want to. I don't want to keep you here. Um, and we're going to do, I think, a quick retro of this process to find out what worked for you, what didn't work for you, what worked for us, what didn't work for us. Um, if you want to stay and help us with that, you're welcome to do that. And, and if you want to take off, Unless anyone else has a question they want to ask. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. For